Ellie's here for more than fireworks. As usual, Ellie, we'd like a guide from you on what wildlife we should be watching this month. What have you been watching? Some sort of smut, really. <laughs> <laughs> as much innuendo as we can get in the animal world. Yeah. Um, red deers are, they're going through the rut. The stags are going through the rutting season. It's been going on for a month or so now, but it's a very spectacular display. OK. Let's take a look at it then. Ellie was keen for a closer look at this magnificent spectacle, and she knew exactly where to go to. The southwest of England is home to the largest population of red deer outside Scotland. So I've come to Exmoor at the crack of dawn to observe one of our most established and ancient herds. November is the mating season, or rut, making it the best time of year to see this most British of wildlife spectacles. to get a glimpse of the stags at this crucial time of year, so I've arranged to meet up with Exmoor Ranger, Richard Eels. How close am I likely to be able to get? Well, red deer on Exmoor are truly wild, right. so they have a, they're quite twitchy. Mm -hmm. you, um, you have to be quiet, look for signs of them, approach from downwind if you can, and I'm hoping we can find a herd, because they're rutting at the moment, that we can get fairly close to today. Do you find it an exciting time of the year? It's the best time of year for red deer on Exmoor. Yeah. Really, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, I love it. The rut lasts about four weeks over October and November. During this time, the larger stags round up as many hinds or females as they can, but there's a constant battle for pecking order as the younger rival stags try to claim hinds for themselves. If you know where to look, evidence of the rut isn't too hard to find. So this is what we call a wallow. You can see there's a lot of deer slots leading into it, slots yeah. being their footprints, mm -hmm. and um, it leads to this big muddy puddle in the middle. And what happens is it gets it all nice and muddy and wet, and then you can see these smoothed off edges where the stag's been rolling in it and spreading his scent all over his body. In order to attract females, the red stag about town has a rather pungent trick up his sleeve. They urinate in here, so you can, you can have a smell of that. That's quite pokey. Well, that's the stag equivalent of cologne and Beautiful. makes them more acceptable to all the ladies. Smells really important as well, isn't it, for the hinds, because by smelling them, the, the stag can tell when they're ready. Yes, it's more a case of when they're urinating, he'll put his head down and you'll see him curl his lip up and show all his top teeth. And, um, yeah, if the hind's ready, then he'll, she'll stand and he'll serve her. Juvenile males reach sexual maturity from around two years old and during the rut, they will often attempt to mate with hinds much older than themselves. So he's up and about. He's, he obviously fancies his chances here. This young stag clearly has designs on a lone hind. Well, what was all that about? Basically, it's full of testosterone, and obviously the hind's a lot more dominant, and it's just her way of saying no. No chance. Bit of a box, on your way, and I think she got her message across loud and clear. I think she did. He is, unfortunately, not the uh, big brute of a stag that yeah. she's looking for. <laughs> Who can blame her? <laughs> 